Just a beautiful day down here at the compound. What's going on guys? How's it going? Mark Freeman 408. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit notifications. We do eight videos a week and we do the odd crazy thing. We jump a lot of cars. So we have a bit of a mess down here now. A few of the Toronto boys wanted to do a derby. So I went out and I got about, I think seven cars and then they brought one down and Oh, it was crazy. We had so much fun. There was cars smashing everywhere, cars jumping, cars flying. It was just car city down here. But the time has come where I got to clean all this up now. So uh, I'm going to take one car back today. Uh, I was hoping Justin was going to be here earlier, but he can't get here until a little later. So Brian and I are going to load the, the PT Cruiser. I don't know what happened to it. They were ripping around or smashing and like it didn't even take any huge hits and all of a sudden she just died. So. I'm not going to worry about it. I got more cars coming. I'm, I can't, you know, take the time to think about fixing the thing. I got way more coming. So I'm not too worried. But yeah, so let's get rid of these things. Let's clean them up, clean up the area. And uh, I think we get pick up. I think it's a Cavalier tonight or a Sunfire or something. We'll start jumping that. And then, uh, yeah, just keep the ball rolling here. So I think three of the cars are the scrapyards and the other five are mine. So. Let's load these things up. Brian is almost here and uh, keep rolling. Keep rolling, guys. Get outside. Look at this weather. You got to enjoy this. Winter's around the corner, so you got to get out and enjoy this weather. I love it. I love it. So uh, let's carry on. I'm going to get rid of the old blue. She was fun. She was turbocharged, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to jump her. I was really excited about jumping that one, but whatever. It sounded sweet too because we straight piped it. But we got lots more cars to come, so I'm not too worried. Oh, there goes the bumper. Thank you, Brian. All right, this is all loaded up. Guess I should take this muffler with me. Obviously, it uh, it fell off during the race the other day. <laughs> we have more races. It kills the grass pretty quick. Head over to the scrapyard, drop this thing off. Hopefully he has something. He just texted me, but I didn't check it. And then uh, I think we got to pick up a Dodge Charger in London. So Brian wants, uh, wants me to grab a car for him. So carry on here. It is hot, guys. It's hot. To the yard. Got the girl. No new vehicles today, I don't think. Oh, scale's not turned on. How much are we supposed to weigh? How do I tell? Do, 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 do. So apparently it's lunchtime, so they closed down for half an hour, an hour. So I'm just gonna rip the battery out of this car and then it should be good to go. Go weigh her up again and see what other trouble we can find today. Hi, truck. Round two. What are we at? 11 thou? Good enough. Say goodbye to the PT Turbo Cruiser. On to the next thing. Oh, Toby. We're doing, we're doing parking lot deals now. Hey? <laughs> Look at this thing. I'd say that's the new track car, but it's not. Brian picked it up for his collection. I think he's gonna try and sell it. Throw her on. Good to go. <laughs> Should we jump this one, Brian? <laughs> What's that? I just let her run. Let her run, she's a dodge. Toby, Toby, Toby. We're struggle city right now. Of course it died on the way home. So we have to, we have to take it, take the truck off and then boost it. There we go. Last stop of the day. Pick up the Pontiac. So this is the whip for this week. <laughs> She's got a bit of a knock to her. As long as she does a few burnouts, quick jump, I'll be happy with it. Bring her on. Oh yeah. Tons of room. 
It's even got snow tires on it. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Trailer hitch and everything. Now I just gotta find a camper to drag off the jump. <laughs> That'd be hilarious, eh? Yeah. Beauty. Back of the barn. Getting the tires pumped up. Oh, these snow tires. They're good to go. Keep pumping. All right, back of the house. All the clouds are gone. Justin has just been living on the road. When was the last time you slept at home? Uh, I slept home once this month. <laughs> you don't need to sleep at home. Sleep is for the week. Almost for the week. Anyways. I don't know why I'm trying to get it my own place. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> he went home, grabbed some clothes, grabbed some new bags. Now we're good to go. Um, anyways, we got the Maverick here. It's somewhat clean. Ox Beam sent me another light bar today. So I think I'm gonna give one to Jason. He's gonna throw it on his Polaris. This one's going on the front of mine. I don't think I'm gonna put this one on the back. I decided against it. So I'll pawn it off on someone else. But yeah, I picked up that Pontiac. So we're gonna head down there. I was thinking about motoring tonight, but we're kind of running out of time. So I'm thinking we should do some car stuff. Throw a light bar on the dirt bike. We could throw a light bar on the dirt bike right across the front. We could be that guy. Yeah, so we do uh, wood motos, but with a 50 inch light bar, so I don't know. <laughs> I think we should do the tire teeter totter tonight. Oh, thoughts? Yeah. Remember the tires? Is it, is it all set up good enough? It's good to go. I was thinking doing it in reverse though. Do we need more dirt in there? Yeah. We're gonna throw everything. Let's just try it without, and then we can always add dirt after. And then I'm thinking maybe get the beamer going and jumping it. I don't know. Oh, I thought you guys smashed everything. Oh, it did. We did smash it, but it still runs. Oh, it still the, runs. The tires got some stance going. Nice. Yeah. Stance nation. Stance nation, but uh, I think we can rip it. So, should we bring a tractor down there and try and rip some cats off tonight? Or should we wait till tomorrow? Might as well. I mean, tomorrow's gonna be a full day of moving cars. Yeah, we got a full day of moving cars. We're, I think we gotta bring eight back to the scrapyard and rip five or six cats off. So. Oh, look, check out my new strap slash chain thing. I went to Princess Auto and had all the fun. So I got the strap again, same strap, it's 20 bucks. Those chains. And then I put the chains. Are those long enough, you think? Oh, I see what you did. Yeah. Probably nice to have a loop. Just loop it around. A chain, a strap with a chain on it. I just they had it. one strap with a chain on the end, but the other end of the strap was, there was no loop or anything. It was just flat. So I was like, oh, this is Yeah, this stupid. is way better. Because at least if we screw this up, which we will, yeah. or we screw up part of the rope, we can at least take these off and reuse Exactly. I can extend the chain. Yeah, these chains were like, you know, three bucks, so I don't really care. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. So Perfect. we'll just basically... I brought too. Perfect. And booster cables. Perfect. And 12,000 zip ties. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's head down the track. We'll do some stuff with uh, new Pontiac and, uh, yeah, whatever. Let's roll. Let's roll. Guys, touring around down here. She needs a cut. Does anyone want to come spray my track for me? She needs to be sprayed. Woo! Beautiful evening down here, that's for sure. Let's see what trouble we can get up to. I think it's time we teeter totter those tires. Totter teeter. Teeter totter. All right, got the old minivan tipped up. We got that cat cut off. It is fluffy, dusty city down here, so. It's fresh in here. Is it fresh? Oh, yeah. Someone uh, took care of herself. Oh yeah, I think this was a winter beater, so. She's got a bit of a knock to her. She'll tell you the odd knock knock joke here and there. She don't care. <laughs> I love it when it has a good knock. Whew! <laughs> what? I don't know. I thought you were gonna tell me. Should we do a quick burnout and then teeter-totter? Yeah. 
I don't think we should move too fast though because the dust is not going anywhere tonight. No, it's just sitting there. Yeah. Maybe maybe you go through the grass on the way over. Try to keep the dust out, eh? Hey, we haven't had rain stuff. in weeks. It's ridiculous. Look at that. It's parked. Too, chill. too fast, slow down. It's just coasting by itself. I think that's the slowest I've ever seen a car move down here. <laughs> As it takes off running. <laughs> Uh, we should shoot a music video. We could shoot the music video. Let's shoot all the music videos. Music video city. Watch this thing just blows on us right now. I like what I'm seeing here. What? Oh yeah, I had to adjust some things. I had to do the thing with the other thing and... Huh, we haven't had a Pontiac since the last time we had a Pontiac. The old purple one, I think it was. Jade L's car. That thing flew. Lit on fire. Sounds beautiful. Oh, yeah. Pull that e-brake. You gotta pull the e-brake. Here we get. There you go. Yank it. <laughs> oh. In time. Inside. A little more. <laughs> oh, was that it? Is that the end of the car's life? I don't know what happened. <laughs> I feel like it gave up on us. Oh no, never. <laughs> it's sounding rough, eh? Should we try the teeter tar? <laughs> I don't even know if it's gonna make it to the jump. I probably should have been filming that. This thing literally, I just tried to start it again and it went, it had like two turns and I went. <laughs> <laughs> When people bring cars to the wreckers, no, you didn't get this from wreckers, did you? No, I bought this from uh, Corn, the guy that made that sign. Huh. He, he was waiting. He's like, no, he knew. He's like, yeah, this thing. Two more cranks. She's a flip of a coin. Yep. Well, that was well, fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Throw back on the trailer. I guess. Uh, Good thing we brought the tractor. It'll make it a little easier. That was not the best sounding thing ever. We just need a big pit that we can just start throwing cars in that don't work anymore. And then we can just, I don't know, do something with them. Just get rid of them. What if we back them up the tires and we get one vehicle to go up over the tires and tear tire and land on the roof of it? Well, the BMW actually still works. Oh. It still works fine. Is that the only vehicle that runs down here? Yeah. Well, the Subaru, if we could figure out how to reset it, some guy said there's like some emergency switch on it, but we could not find anything on it. And there was nothing on YouTube or Google, so. Either. So that means there's no answer. Yeah, we like, we like bumped the Subaru and then it just like wouldn't, it was, it was almost like the Ford fuel pumps shut off. So we couldn't, I don't know, we couldn't figure it out. You need like a monster truck. Monster you know, truck. Because cars that run or don't run, it's still a car you can crash. All right, here's the plan. Fucking light this thing on fire. No, let's, uh, let's get that BMW going and, uh, Actually, since I got the van up like that, let's rip the cat off real quick. Yeah, might as well. And then we'll uh, get the BMW going. We still got, still got a bit of time. Okay, cool. We got eight like percent of time left. A tug of war, but run the chain through the windows, and whoever's bumper smashes into the side loses. I like it. I don't know. Let's head over there. Well, we got the fleet. This is a sad-looking fleet. Very quiet down here. Anyways, alive. our fancy muffler cutter seems to work pretty good. It chopped through there in what, about a minute, under a minute. So we got the chain hooked up to the cat. It's yep. so nice not having to rely on a battery. I know. Because knowing us, it'd be dead after like one car struggling to try and get it to work. We were at Harbor Freight the other day. They had a Sawzall for 40 bucks. So like, even if it just cut one thing, yeah. <laughs> it'd be worth it. But that was over. That thing works too good. 
All right, let's hook her up to the tractor and get her dug. Get her dug off. I'm gonna go stand over here. It's gonna run me over now. Yep. Now oh, you throw this thing in the park. <laughs> Shut the door. The stubborn cat. <laughs> wow. Does not want to come out. What? Oh, ramming speed. <laughs> Just dragging this thing around the field. By the time we're done, it's going to be all mowed down here. Well, that sucked. <laughs> well, that didn't work. <laughs> no, it's a pretty stubborn cat. Oh, wow. Oh, that's why. Apparently, that wasn't rated high enough. <laughs> Hey, the strap didn't break. No, only the three dollar clip did. Okay. Well, note to self: we should probably check the rating. Huh? Yeah. Well, we still have a strap. We do. We can still use that. We can. Yeah. Uh, just wondering if that's gonna hold up on that end. Then. I think it will. Yeah. Figured out. That probably takes the most abuse over there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, we'll pop this up. We'll figure this one out. Let's see if this works. Take number two. Wow. That, for being all the way cut through and only two bolts holding it on, that is impressive. Have to wedge it between some cars or something. <laughs> wow, that is not coming off. I'm actually surprised. <laughs> that is tough. We might have to wedge it between two vehicles or something. Yeah. I don't think that e brake's really holding. No, I don't think that e brake is holding at all. No. And it hasn't broke off yet, so that's good. Well, the chain that is. That cat does not want to come off. That's impressive. Everything has its e-brake on. That thing is not coming off. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I know how to move four cars at once though. I would have never guessed that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you should just pop right off. I don't know, maybe try the other way once more. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I know, we should do this BMW thing though, before yeah. it gets too dark. Right. Let's try once more that way and then, yeah. I don't know. 
Attempt number four, five? He's a, he's a sneaky little uh, Chevy there. We're losing parts left and right, but this is not one to come off. There's literally two bolts. Only this on, that's it, two bolts. This is it. We kind of had it hooked a little high, so we think it was hinging on something. <laughs> Still no. Don't hit me. Things have escalated. This is wrapped up. We're gonna try this once again. Wow! He does not like that. It, I could see it flexing. Like it completely flexed. I thought it was going to pop right out. Why is it so strong? I don't know. There's like two bolts holding it on. Well, you want to go try the Pontiac, I guess? I guess. You want to flip this back over so we can uh, pull that back out? Because I wrapped it. It's not going to come off. This you want to flip it over? What's that? You want to flip it over? Yeah. So we're Struggle City right now, trying to take off Cadillac converters. We have three vehicles upside down. Three. We had three. We up. had three upside down, and <laughs> now we just have two. We've given up on the van. Apparently, it's just like reinforced. So good. I, I want mean, a van now. we were doing so well with those other ones last week, and these ones are like, no. So we're gonna try the cat or the Mercedes one now. Right no, it's it's way up in there. I believe that's a resonator, isn't it? Okay. Pretty sure that's it. Way in there. Oh, good. Yeah. So wow. I figured we'll just hook the chain to that and. Hope for the best, and if not, well, screw this. People are laughing at us right now on YouTube. Oh, no, I don't like, you know that. Hey, you know if you just lift the motor out? <laughs> you know if you just take this, this, and this off? Does anyone need anything off this Mercedes? It's supercharged, so. It's not that. All right, let's, uh, we'll grab the strap and try this one. Dip on this one. the guys that wanted to know what this thing looked like the aftermath that's basically it i flipped her back over that wheel's done the roof's done you maybe would have survived that crash i don't know it'd be pretty tricky but apparently i blew the rad there this side's not too bad the inside oh you see airbag curtain went off apparently there's a door airbag too 
Anyways, we're gonna wrap her up for now. The sun is going down, Justin. You've done great. We did manage to get the cat off this one, but it was not easy. Oh my god. No. I don't know what happened from last week to this week. Like we we banged three off in like two hours last week, maybe an hour and a half, and these ones just don't want to come off. But we were using a car last time with a strap and just jolting it. So I don't know if the tracks is different, if it's not fast enough. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up. We're just gonna load this thing up and go to the house. So Thank you guys as always. Check out the links below. Follow Xbox. Justin. <laughs> uh, yeah, leave a nice comment and feel free to make fun of us. Thank you guys again. We'll see you later.